Welcome to Adorable on Twine. In this video, I want to show an example of getting random entries from an array within Sugarcube 2.36. So in a previous video, I reviewed the concept of arrays within JavaScript. And remember, whenever we're using Sugarcube, we're always, always also using JavaScript, which means we can use existing data structures like arrays within Sugarcube itself. We saw that when we use arrays within Sugarcube, we also have access to a number of methods that Sugarcube adds to arrays. One of these is random. This allows us to get a random entry from an array. This can be incredibly useful because arrays itself doesn't have this functionality and Sugarcube adds it for us. So in this video, let's look at the ways in which we can create array values then get random entries, and how this can be incredibly helpful for creating things like more dynamic stories or stories with generated content. So first, notice that I have a story init passage. So as a quick review, this is one of a number of different special passage names within Sugarcube. This allows us to initialize story init, initialize things at the beginning of a story. So this passage will run before the starting passage. So in this passage, I have right here three different arrays. Notice arrays, of course, start with a single opening square bracket and closing square bracket and have commas between their values. So I have right here temporary variable, temporary variable, and temporary variable count, description, and landmarks. So two, three, four, five, six. And then for description, snow capped, sand covered, moss covered, and crumbling. And for landmax, towers, castles, and mountains. And then finally down here, I am using the random method that Sugarcube adds to arrays. So I'm establishing arrays, a kind of sequence of values right here. And then down here, these last three lines, I'm asking for a random entry from those arrays from count, description, and landmarks. Now notice in particular, I'm combining both temporary and story-wide variables. So remember, temporary variables only exist within a single passage. Story-wide variables, of course, exist across a story. So I'm using the same name, count to count, but these right here will only exist within this passage, and these right here with a dollar sign will exist across the store. So I'm initializing three different variables, count, description, and landmarks, which of course are random entries from an existing array. Now over in the starting passage called start, I have text that says, as you leave the cave and enter a new land, you see count, description, and landmarks. So every time we run the story, we'll be regenerating a short description of a city or location that a player reader might encounter. So if I go ahead and build and play, we will see as you leave the cave and enter a new land, you see six moss-covered towers. If we were to close and rerun, you see two crumbling castles. And of course, we can just keep rerunning and each time get new random entries. So one of the use cases for random is to get random entries from an existing array. One of the ways which we can combine that with existing number of arrays is we can generate story content. So if we have descriptions, adjectives, or even things a non-player character NPC might say, we can put them within an array, use the random method within Sugarcube, then access them, store them, and then show them to a reader or character. As with this example, we can also generate a kind of simple description of a city or location. We could also potentially generate much more complex things. But the pattern and the usage is all the same. We establish what we want as some type of structure, right here using arrays. And then because we're using arrays, we can access random, which again is added by Sugarcube to JavaScript. It doesn't exist in JavaScript by itself to get those random entries and then do things with them. In this case, we're just showing them, but of course we can act on them in the same way. So an example of how this can be incredibly helpful using the random method working with arrays within Sugarcube 2.36. Thanks for watching.